One of the hardest things to do for both new fashion enthusiasts and veterans alike is to buy good looking, nice fitting pants. It's something that I've struggled with and continue to struggle with to this day. So for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to actually find pants that fit you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew Adu. Let's talk pants. The first step to finding pants that fit you is knowing your bodily measurements. Drew, what does this mean? It means you need to take a tape measure and measure your waist as well as hips for women, inseam and outseam. Once you have these numbers, put them somewhere accessible like the notes app on your phone or in a journal. For me, I know my numbers by heart. I'm about 33 or 34 inches on the inseam, 35 and a half inches on the outseam, and then my waist is around 32 to 33 inches, maybe 34 depending on if I've put on a couple pounds or not. Okay. Okay, you have your measurements, but where can you find the brands that are tolerable towards these body measurements? There are three categories within fashion that I have found to be the most inclusive when it comes to pant sizing options. Workwear, loungewear, and what I'm calling the classics. Starting with workwear, the pants associated with this genre have had a ton of additional popularity within the last few years. And this is because, in my opinion, the pants from workwear are stylish, they're functional, they're versatile, and often can be genderless. Think Dickies 874s, Dickies Carpenter Jeans, Wrangler Ranchers, Big Ben Trousers by Wrangler, Carhartt Double Knees, and Ben Davis Original Ben's Pants. Now, some of these pants are definitely not going to interest you, especially when the stock images look like this. But I'll give you a personal anecdote about the Dickies 874. For me, when I first started caring about style and fashion and personal style, Dickies 874s were the only pair of pants that I felt fit me the way I wanted a pair of pants to fit, if that makes sense. I've seen 874s styled impeccably by women as well. And the awesome thing about the 874, as well as all of the workwear pants that I mentioned before, is the fact that they have an amazing size range, meaning that you can go from all the way down to like a 25 waist, all the way up to like a 40 inch waist. You can buy them in so many different ways, whether it be online, whether it be secondhand, whether it be through large multi-brand retailers. It's amazing the options when it comes to a lot of these workwear pants. And on top of that, they're relatively cheap compared to some of the pants I'm going to mention later on in this video. <laughs> in my humble opinion, I think workwear pants when it comes to figuring out your proper sizing for pants is a great place to start if you don't have a lot of money and you want to elevate your style with something just as simple as having pants that fit you properly. It, it can make a world of difference for your outfits, trust me, and for your confidence as well. Next, we have loungewear. I think for most people, loungewear is easier to find the proper sizing for pants as opposed to other genres within fashion. This is due to the fact that the fabrics used in loungewear are often softer, less constraining, and more breathable. Both sweatpants and leggings are extremely popular in the US for both men and women, and here are some of the brands that I've enjoyed over the years. I think that everyone starts with a champion sweater or sweatpant at some point in their life and i think champions reverse weave especially if it's a vintage version is a great place to start athleta is a fantastic place for leggings because they have an inclusive inseam length that accommodates for tall short and wider busts and figures cotton is a great sustainable option and los angeles apparel is a wholesale company but i feel like they do a great job of also creating products that can be sold for retail consumers so check them out but the truth of the matter is that loungewear brands are a dime a dozen so if you have others that you enjoy or that you are currently producing clothing for right now leave those down in the comment section help enrich the community we all want to find and wear pants that fit us more properly especially if you're taller or wider or shorter whatever you may be it's great to have brands that you know you can trust and go to now with the classics i'm talking about the baseline items of clothing that are synonymous with entry-level fashion styles such as straight fitting denim jeans jeans, black pleated trousers, cargo pants, flare denim, you catch my drift. If you're struggling to find pants that fit you, this is another great place to start. But there's an important distinction that I must make. Ideal pant sizing is a combination of the fit you're looking for, the brands that carry that fit, and affordability. Levi's, for example, is America's preeminent denim company. They offer a wide selection of cuts and fits for their denim jeans. 
when it comes to black pleated trousers, for example. There are both really expensive options and relatively cheap options in comparison to those expensive options. Here's what I like specifically from a product brand standpoint. The Levi's 517, which is a fantastic boot cut pair of denim jeans. The Levi's 501, the most iconic pair of jeans ever created. The Levi's 569, another pair of denim that is a bit more wider, but also allows for more room in the thigh and is a bit more comfortable if you are a larger, taller individual like myself. I had mentioned the 874 earlier. I bought those in black originally, and those were, and I, and I kept the pleat in them, and those were my original black, just simple pleat down the middle of the pant trouser, which they were workwear pants, which is unbelievable. This is where I started, and if you're not a fan of these styles, then let's talk more generally about how we can find pants that fit you. So for my closet, the workwear pants and the Levi's, I would consider to be entry level fashion, entry level pants for my style progression. Now for you, this could be the end all be all. These could be the best pants in the world, um, which is fantastic. We all have a different taste level and different desires. But for me, I would consider these to be entry level for me. And so the best fitting pants in my closet, I would consider to be a more mid tier or upper echelon type of pair of pants in comparison to these workwear or Levi's that are made in 2020 or 2022 or whatever whenever they were made meaning the price range materials and cuts for these mid to upper echelon pans can be two to three times the cost of these other entry-level versions now i want to say this i don't think you have to pay more to find pants or to buy pants or to get pants that fit you correctly it all is about your measurements. Some of us are blessed with like the golden measurements, whether you be average height, average waist, relatively average body type, or you're a toned body type or a skinny body type. Fashion seems to be a bit more uh, kind to those body types. Once you go over six feet or you go below five foot three, or you know, you kind of have these wonky leg sizes or, or, or bust sizes or hip sizes, that's when you start to kind of run into the problems when it comes to finding pants that fit you. And it's a frustration that we all go through. Right now, I would say that wide fitting pants are the most desirable cut when it comes to the fashion landscape right now. From parachute pants to denim and pleated trousers, we all want something that is just a bit more forgiving on our thighs and more wider towards the ankle of our leg. And if you like the style of pants, this is the route I would take to finding actual versions of them that would fit you properly. I'd start with the website Essence, to be honest. Essence, in my opinion is the most clean most navigatable multi-brand retailer in the fashion space that i just personally enjoy shopping at online for online shopping the drew <laughs> in the search bar on essence i would search up wide fitting pants or wide pants simple as that filter the products from least expensive to most expensive and then begin making bookmarks for the pants that catch your eye some of these items may be too expensive and you might look at some of these prices and gasp like everyone does in the fashion industry when you look at something and it says 500 dollars for a pair of pants you go what the heck how how is it worth that much money <laughs> and if you're on essence and you're like these prices are just too crazy for me drew then the other way that you can go about searching is you can go to your local boutiques you can go to your local thrift stores and you can begin searching the racks of those storefronts all this to say it's not going to be this straightforward very streamlined very easy process in order to find proper wide fitting or narrow fitting or a particular fabric of pants that fit your body type correctly for example bringing it back to my life i'm getting more into selvage denim and that's something that is I would say for the entry level person, they have no idea what I'm talking about, but for people who care about, you know, fabrics and fashion and cuts and all these things, they care probably a little bit more about selvage denim. And so for me, I've been getting more into selvage denim, but I just can't seem to find any tastefully made wide fitting selvage denim made for a six foot three black frame. Like it's just, I'm just not finding any options. And so just like you with your pant buying or with your shopping, I'm also feeling incredible frustration around the fact that I can't find the items that I know in my mind I would want, but they just don't exist in the brands or the products that are currently available out there in the world. It's annoying. It's so freaking annoying. <laughs> for me, in my head, my thought process, the only solution I have for this problem right now is continuous repeated 
searching. That's all I can do for right now. And then once you find these versions of pants, you'll feel an incredible sense of accomplishment knowing that, well, yeah, I could have bought the lesser version or another pair of pants that I didn't really want, but I held out. I was patient and my diligence paid off. Or you could just gatekeep the pair of pants that you just found and not let anybody else know about them. That would be uh, an interesting decision. <laughs> because I'm not about that life, let me share with you some of my absolute favorite pants that I currently own in my wardrobe. My top dog, the number one pair of pants in my wardrobe, I've talked about them a ton and I'll continue to talk about them, are the Yoji Yamamoto five panel Japanese selvage made in Japan denim jeans. These to me are a God tier level of pants. I mean, there's nothing above them in my closet right now. So in terms of items in my closet, these are my most prized possession above all the shoes, above all the tops. These jeans are, I love these jeans, boy. <laughs> but the kicker is they didn't exactly fit me how I wanted them to be fit when I first bought them. They were too long on the inseam and the waist was too big. But this brings us to another really great point when it comes to buying pants. I think that the strategy, if you really enjoy a pants fabric, if you like the way it kind of looks down the leg, if you like the nature of the design of a particular pair of pants, but they're too big, still buy them. Because what you can do is you can take them to your local tailor, your local babushka, your local grandmama, or whoever it may be who can tailor clothing, and you can have them fix the pan up to fit your exact measurements that you know because you took your measurements and you know them by heart at this point, right? <laughs> it's a no-brainer kind of thing. Tailor your pants. If they're too big, um, if they're too small, it's a bit more difficult to get them tailored to your sizing. So that's why going too big is what I found seems to be a better solution than if something's too small. If they're too big, just get them tailored. It's, it's a... It's a life-changing kind of moment once you do that. To be honest, I don't even have these pants with me right now because they're back at the tailor because I felt that the belt opening or like the belt loops were half an inch too large for the belts that I carry. And I wanted to get that smaller and then I wanted to cut in the waist a little bit more because I still felt like it wasn't fitting me 100% properly. And that's where, you know, if you get into this hobby of enjoying fashion, like, the more of a detail oriented person you become about your outfits, the more like half an inch, a quarter of an inch will bother you. And that's something that I don't know if you guys resonate with. If you do, leave, let me know down in the comments, but um, it's something I've noticed for myself. Now with the Yogis, one of the frustrating parts about these pants is that when you search for them online, it says that they retail for over a thousand dollars, which is absolutely insane. I paid I had 85 to 95% of that off in terms of what I actually paid for these pair of jeans. And sometimes you get lucky. You find a pair of pants on sale that would otherwise cost a thousand dollars and they become a prized possession in your closet. I'm not saying this is gonna happen to everyone, but I feel like it happened to me because I always diligently searching for this version of a pair of pants and the fact that they're made in Japan, Yoji Yamamoto is a legendary designer. I'm very, very happy with these. All right, enough about the Yojis. Let's let's continue with the other pants I love in my wardrobe. We have the Collegium Pillar Pants. These are like a nylon polyester black pair of pants that are perfect for like spring, fall, sometimes summer, cooler summer days that are just, they're just nice to wear. Um, the Dickies 874, like I mentioned before, 874 Dickies have just, are just a staple. If you know my channel, you probably found out about my channel because of my reviews on Dickies 874s. And so I've loved these for years and years and years newly acquired the bleeding indigo hbt pants these are great they have a kind of stitch pleat down the middle um, bleeding indigo is a brand out of the netherlands i believe it's out of eindhoven um, which is super dope shout out to the netherlands i love you guys all there but yeah another great pair of pants these are a bit more elevated in price point they're also more if you're a taller individual i feel like they do a great job with the inseam links and the rise and just everything about these pants is great and then last i would say that in terms of levi's that i still wear the 517 the boot cut version i love the way that the boot cut drapes over some of the boots that i have in my closet and it's just fantastic. So those are kind of the pants that I'm wearing 80 to 95% of the time. Finding pants that fit you isn't easy, but hopefully with the strategies that I've laid out in this video, it makes it a bit easier for you to go out and actually acquire the items of clothing that 
you fancy the most. <laughs> I made a video last year, in fact, a couple months ago, titled Why Your Clothes Never Fit You. And I made this video to highlight the frustration that most people end up feeling when it comes to buying clothing that they hope to implement into a personal style, which is clothes don't fit man it sucks <laughs> and for me to be honest this is an ongoing conversation so if there are better strategies if there are better brands if there are better places to go about finding pants that actually fit you based on your body type no matter how tall short or if you're a man or woman or whatever you may be if you can put some of that positive energy into the comment section of this comment section then it'll not only like i said before enrich my life but it'll enrich the community's life and everyone else who's trying to find pants that look good and feel good and fit them nicely now i have one final point but let's get a word in for today's sponsor squarespace are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to make the website that you've always dreamed of if you want to sell your products direct to consumer or if you just want to display your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and all of my social media platforms. And if you needed a sign to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash drewjoiner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. If you have any brands of pants that you love, like I said, let us know down in the comments. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you from me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. Yo, what is good? Post vid vid. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. You know what this means, right? Got that fist bump. Feel me? Bop. Thanks so much for staying to the end of the video. I appreciate you so much for sticking to the end. The post vid vid. I got love for y'all, man. I saw all of the comments on the vlog. You guys liked the vlog. I saw all the, you know, suggestions and things like that. I'll definitely be doing more vlogs in the future. Hopefully you guys like this video. Like I said, post vid vid. Always love you guys. For the post vid vid question of the day. What are some questions? <laughs> for the question what are some questions what are some questions that you guys have that um, maybe i could answer in the form of a video or maybe a video topic that i haven't covered this video topic was actually actually suggested to me by someone in the instagram dms i don't know why i said that like that but in instagram dms and you know i, I did my best to articulate how to find proper fitting pants and hopefully it helps but um if there's any other questions that you guys have let me know i'd love to answer them and um yeah, I just want to be a, a service to you guys. You guys have, have obviously been a service, um, not a service, but you guys have, you know, helped me get to where I am now without the audience, without the post vid vidders and you guys, I wouldn't be where I am. So I'm very thankful. So I'm always trying to give back as much as possible. So anyways, hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Peace.